So today we will see about a fully rectifier, how to design that in multi-sync. So before that, uh, let me uh, explain that what is a full wave rectifier and just a basic uh, of that. So here you can see the figure of a uh, full wave rectifier. So what is the scenario there? So you have a given input signal, which is a AC signal alternating current and sinusoidal in this case I am considering. And uh, here we are using a center tapped uh, full wave rectifier I am using. So only two diodes will be there <coughs> and the output will be a pulsating DC signal. So you can see all the outputs here will be in the positive cycle only. So that's how we convert the AC to the DC direct current. We are converting a alternating current to a non-alternating current. What is the uh, function here? How does it work? So here you can see there is a center tap transformer that is used. So it's a special transformer which has uh, two secondary windings and uh, that connected to a <coughs> only one common point of uh, source. So that's how one side the D1 is connected and it is going through the load resistance RL and other side also D2 register is connected which goes through the RL register. Now you can see in positive cycle, positive cycle of the input here, D1 is forward bias and the current will be flowing as the arrow mark you have seen here. And in the negative cycle of the input, the current will be flow through the D2 which will be forward bias in that case and it will flow through the RL register. And you can see finally, the direction of current in the RL register is same in the both the cases and that's how it gets converted to a uh, DC signal. Now let us go to the multi sim and we will uh, try to do the same thing there. So what I need, first I need a power source. So here I will go to power sources and I need a AC power there. So I will just take AC power and uh, place it here. After that I need a transformer. So what do I try uh, find a transformer? I will go to here uh, basics and in the basic you will find there is a transformer is there and I need uh, <coughs> one primary, one secondary but set, uh, center tab. So you, see, you can see the symbol here. So it is center type transformer. So I'll place the transformer here. Next I need a diode. So from here we'll go to the uh, diodes there. And uh, I'll go to the uh, diode, virtual diode I'll take. Because if you go to the diode specifically, you'll see so many options are there. You may get confused initially. So that's why let me take the virtual diode. In some other video I'll explain that what kind of package or what kind of uh, IC number you can take. Generally, uh, IN400 is 7 which is from Motorola, but this time let us take the generic diode. So, I will take the diode. I need two diodes there. So, that's why I will place uh, two diodes and then I need a resistance for my load. So, I will take uh, base in the basics. I will find there is a register is there and we will take a standard 1K register. So, this is a 1K register and I will place it somewhere near. Now, I have all the components that I required. Uh, so I will connect, uh, so AC source to the primary side I will connect here, one end and this is the another end I will connect to the secondary, uh, to the second terminal and from here I will connect it to the diode and uh, this connection will go to the second diode, so they are like this connected. So I am just following the circuit that I have just uh, shown you, fine, now this resistance one will be common, uh, connected to output of both the diodes like this and one end will be connected to the transformer. So that's how I complete my uh, circuit is completed. And remember whenever you do any circuit in uh, a multi-sim, a ground you have to connect always. So the ground I have taken and I will connect it uh, here in the AC source. Okay. Now see the AC source by default it is 120 volt RMS value is taken and 60 Hz is taken as the frequency. You can change this value as well whatever you need if you are uh, practically simulating any particular circuit. You can change the value of the AC source also that's how I have done there. <coughs> now the circuit is complete. Now how do I see the waveform? So I need an oscilloscope there. So just take a two channel oscilloscope and place it here. So where do I need to see my result? I need to see the result across the R1 or the RL register here. So this one I will connect one side here to the one end of the register and the another terminal I will connect with the another side of the register. That's how I connect the output now. Through this port I can get the output. Now to compare that how the AC is converted to DC, I will take another line here and I will connect that to the input so that I can compare that what is happening in the uh, input also. So I will just connect to the both the ends of the AC source there. Fine. Now my, my circuit is complete. So if you are getting confused, so you can right click there and you can go to segment color and you can change that also. 
so that you can easily visualize that blue color is my uh, input connected to input fine now that's all about the circuit now let's run the simulation we'll see what happens there so if i run the simulation now the simulation is running to see the output you need to double click on the oscilloscope now you see uh, if i click on auto automatically the outputs are coming because the input and output labels are at different values so it is not able to show so here i can change the scale value so channel b is input so i will increase the voltage per division then you can see the blue line is coming why the blue line is coming because i have the wire i have made it blue now you can say this is the input ac uh, for the scale in the out, uh, output also i can change that so now you can see this is in line okay so <coughs> uh, let me make it bigger so And now I can I think increase the scale a little bit. Uh, Two hundred is good. Okay. Now if I just click on single, uh, it should be showing. It's not showing. That's fine. Okay. Now you see the blue line is a AC signal. Okay. And what is the channel B voltage? It is going. So it is going from. Uh, you can see 230 to minus 230 it is varying between that and uh, here the channel uh, the rms value that is taken but the peak value will be different so here it is showing the peak value which is becoming more than the actual uh, rms value 230 volt and the channel a you can see it is less than that because the transformer is there and it has been reduced by 50 percent because the transformer that we have taken uh, here i'll show you the transformer is 10 is to 5 is to 5 that means in the both the secondary uh, coils if uh, 10 is to 5 ratio is there so that means it is making the voltage half the red lines you can see the red graph you can see so the red graph is nothing but the output which is you can see only at the positive half you can see the x position sorry, the y position both both of them are zero that means this white line is solid white line you see it is actually the uh, zero line and above the zero line the red line is there that means always it is positive and below that blue line is coming that means it is the ac signal and here how it is converted to your uh, ac to dc is converted uh, so this single is not working i don't know why but it should be working if the it will not pulse it and it will just show the value okay so that's how you can easily convert a uh, create a full wave rectifier in multisim and you can see the output uh, so that's it. We'll see some other circuits in some other video. Thank you.